Oh. Like, do I really want to talk about all this? Or do I just want to, like... Not... It, like, gives me anxiety wanting to talk about it, honestly. Like... It's like, as much as you can tell yourself, like, you're okay, sometimes you're just not. I don't know. This video is going to be, like, triggering, I feel like. And people are going to, like, be irritated. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just going to do it because it's how I'm feeling in the moment. Because you had a bad day, you take your one down. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get started, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Also subscribe down below for more videos. <sighs> Today's topic is a little more on the less fun side. Sometimes life isn't fun all the time and that's okay. You know, it's okay for not everything to be perfect. Nobody has it together 100% of the time. So being that it's quarantine and it's been now a while that we've been in quarantine, I think it's starting to get to me a little bit. It's starting to get to me on a mental and physical toll because <sighs> the truth is my entire life, I've had pretty bad body dysmorphia and it's really starting to hit home the more we're in quarantine. I'm not being as active as I would usually be. I'm not, you know, we're sitting around watching movies, playing video games. I'm not able to go to the gym. I'm doing the most I can to kind of stay active, but it's not really enough. And I know what people are gonna say right now already that, Spencer, you're so skinny. Like, what's wrong with you? Like, shut up. But that's not what body dysmorphia is about. And it stems a lot longer than just my current physical appearance. Um, growing up, I used to be the the like chubbiest kid in my family. I was just really constantly being made fun of at school for my weight, being ridiculed by other people, always being told that I was like fat or ugly or all this stuff. So when you hear that for so many years, it plays this mental game with you that really sucks. And that's the thing about body dysmorphia. A very tiny fraction of it is actually based on what you look like currently physically. The majority of it, at least for me, is a, almost 100% completely mental. I would also like to point out the fact that I have never been anorexic or bulimic. I know that sometimes these three things get tied together, but being body dysmorphic has nothing to do with anorexia or bulimia. The basic definition of body dysmorphia is just one's like ability to see every little imperfection in your body, whether it actually be there or it be mental and imaginary. Um, you're never really fully satisfied with the way you look. You're constantly judging yourself or picking yourself apart at like little things like I said whether they're actually there or not so the fact of being in quarantine where you cannot I'm not going to the gym and I'm not doing the daily like physical activities that I normally would do has really just been like mentally taking its toll honestly and it, it doesn't even matter what other people think because at the end of the day it's all it it's in my head, so it's not going to go away no matter what anybody tells me. It's all, like, there. This has been going on for at least the last 10 to, like, 11 years of my life. And it used to be way worse than it was. I mean, you can ask my mom, my brother. I used to stand in the mirror for hours looking at myself from the side sucking it in, pushing, like, pulling my shirt down, like, tucking in my shirt to make my waist look skinnier, like, pulling back stuff, like, for hours, I would just look at myself in the mirror up and down, and it got so freaking bad, like, my mom would constantly be looking at me being like, Spencer, stop looking at yourself. For the first time in a long time, pre-quarantine, I had felt like I had finally kind of got it under control, and I had felt that I had 
gotten to a place where I was like, you know what, even if I have like an off day, I was able to bounce back a lot faster and was really fine with the way I was looking and the way I was feeling about myself. Every now and then you just have a bad day, right? But now in quarantine, it's just like, it's spreading from one bad day into like, like three or four days of just like looking at myself in the mirror like, oh my gosh, like this is just not good. And it's just been difficult. Oh, it sucks. That's the thing about mental illnesses is you go through it day to day. It's different every day. So sometimes I have my highest of highs and my lowest of lows and you just gotta try to find that balance and ride out the wave and come out on top. A lot of us are just stuck at home with our thoughts. Everybody's beautiful no matter their shape or size, but we can't deny that we all have those days where we get down and we all compare ourselves to other people. Everybody does it. It's so easy nowadays, especially with social media, to go online and just like scroll and scroll and compare yourself to every little person you scroll past. And is it unnecessary? Absolutely. Are we all beautiful just the way we are? Absolutely. But that man mentality, unfortunately, is always there a lot of the time and never really goes away, you always have it in the back of your head, this image of yourself that you want to achieve or of this image of someone else that you compare yourself to and you hope one day you're going to get there. And some days you are there and you have your best days and some days you don't. And that's okay. It's, it's okay to not be okay all the time. We live in that kind of society right now, unfortunately, where you're told that's the look, like that's the way to be which sucks. I think there's not just one look. Everybody's look is unique. Everybody's look is beautiful. Everybody's look should be embraced. But it's, it's tough. If you're having a bad day mentally, physically, you're exhausted, you're unhappy, you're ridiculing yourself, you're picking yourself apart, surround yourself around the best people you can. I'm so fortunate in my life to be have so many amazing people around me, thank God, at all, like, at the click of a button, I can know I can reach out to somebody and talk to somebody, so that is just wonderful. Try to surround yourself around great people. I always try to pick one thing out of the day, at least one thing, that was like the best part of that day. So even in your lowest of low days, if you had just the smallest good thing, take that piece and remember that piece. Like don't focus on all the bad that may have happened that day. Take that one thing that just made that day just a little better or gave it a little flair. Take that and make that the part of the day you wanna remember and make that the part of the day that you go to bed with in your head and when you wake up the next day, you're like happy and ready with that part and you're ready to conquer the rest of the next day. And we're all in this together. Anybody watching this video who may have a, be having a hard time in quarantine, shoot me a message, DM me. Um, I'm here to talk to anybody who feels like they're just going through it. And together we can support each other and we can lift each other up because that's what we have to do. We have to constant, we, we all have to be there for each other. We're all human beings on the same, on the same planet. So we all have to be there for each other, lift each other up and celebrate each other for how amazing and beautiful we all are. So that's what I'm gonna leave you guys with. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.